Time Travel Astronaut here with a Let's Play. This time it's Willow for the uh, Nintendo, not to be confused with the game with the exact same name, Willow for the Arcade Machine. They were both made by Capcom, came out in 1989. Uh, one is an arcade platformer, but the Nintendo one's more of a Zelda-style game. And not just as a Nintendo game, I really liked it. Uh, it was a good Nintendo game, but it was also a really good licensed game, which is very rare, especially... Uh, Around this time, like the late 80s, early 90s, there was a lot of really bad licensed games. I really enjoyed it. It was about 17 videos long. And just by the nature of the game, because it's pretty simple, I don't think I missed anything. I don't think you can miss anything. Otherwise, you can't finish the game. So, it's a pretty by-the-numbers playthrough. Differs a little bit from the movie, if we're being honest with each other. You know, on account of the fact that you're given a sword immediately and have to kill everything yourself. And you don't escort a magic baby everywhere. But probably the biggest divergence between the movie and the game is that the game doesn't have Prefect Burgle Cut, which really makes the game much worse. I think he should have been in there. The possibilities were endless with what they could have done with him. He could have, you know, he could have been a boss that asks where you got all your seeds. He could have been an ally that protects you from bird shit. Just the sky's the limit with Prefect Burgle Cut. I'm really bummed out they didn't put him in here. But if you can somehow look past all that, there's a fun little game here. Uh, this was requested by Matt G. So thanks to him, now you get to watch it. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> 